How's it going? I'm Dustin. Welcome to Fancy Smack Talk. We're heading into week five. Let's take a look at the waiver wire after an exciting Sunday. We got four must-add running backs for you in pretty much all leagues. First one's with Garrett Blunt. Shocked to see he's only owning about 10% of leagues. Cadillac Williams is not even going to get close to 20 carries a game if he's only averaging two and a half yards a carry. Blunt's going to start taking over this job, and it could be his in only a couple of weeks. Get him on your team. Next, we got Ryan Terrain. You know, we liked him even before the Portis injury. As far as that injury goes, whenever you, whenever you put pop and groin in the same sentence, not a good combo. Terrain is going to continue to take over the workload out in Washington. Next, we got Michael Bush. Surprise, surprise, McFadden's hurt. We know he's a slow healer. Look for Bush to have some value over the next couple weeks. He looked good on Sunday, averaged about six yards of carry and found the end zone. And the last must-add running back I got for you is Mike Bell, only owning about 10% of leagues. McCoy has a broken rib. You know, these injuries can linger. You know, he might not miss any time, but he's going to have one of those big old jackets in the front. You know, it's going to definitely uh, hinder him on the field. We like Mike Bell as some added value over the next couple of weeks. And I got one must-add receiver for you. All right, Brandon Lloyd, I'll admit it. <laughs> you know, you could be for real this year. You know, we were not buying into it. But this guy has looked amazing three out of the four games this year. And it's just time to buy into that Denver passing game. They got something special going on out there. All right, now let's take a look at some guys that had in deeper leagues. First guy, Devon Best, only owning about 20% of leagues. This guy is turning out to be a PPR specialist. He could definitely have some value in a lot of leagues. Next, we got John Kuhn, only owning about 15% of leagues with the Packers. It's looking like a 50-50 timeshare out there. Brandon Jackson has not lived up to the potential that we thought he could have. Kuhn is going to continue to see a nice workload out there. Another running back to look at is Mike Tolbert. You know, Ryan Matthews came back, but Tolbert still had a decent amount of carries. It's just interesting. It could end up being more of a timeshare than we once thought. All right, I got a couple other people to add in deeper leagues. First one, Chicago's defense against Carolina. I like this as a pickup and play next week. Only on about 55% of leagues. Not only is Carolina starting a rookie quarterback, but now their best receiver is probably out for the next few weeks. Carolina's going to have a hard time moving the ball. Got a couple of, a, a few individual defensive players in, the, in leagues that have IDPs. First guy, James Anderson out there with Carolina. The guy's been amazing lately. Paris Lennon, he's been playing really well as well. And don't forget Brian Cushing coming back from his suspension next week. So he could be a nice guy to add as well. Now this is just a portion of the week five waiver wire to see the full list get onto the site. It'll be up later this week. I'm Dustin. Brent and I'll be back later this week.